Hi, this is Stefan. In this video, I want to show you how to set up the new Liquid Notes for life. Uh, what is Liquid Notes? In short, it analyzes your song harmonically and then provides you with the corresponding chord symbols and a detailed piano roll view of the notes in any track. So regardless of the style of your arrangement, the software provides an accurate analysis of your music and it establishes a solid base for the changes and alterations you may want to make to selected tracks of, or, or the entire arrangement. So that way, lay down the foundation to a new tune in just no time. The version of Liquid Notes I'm talking about here is a max MIDI effect for the Ableton Live Sequencer. This means that Liquid Notes for Live behaves almost like a plug-in. And I have to point out that you need to have Max for Life installed for that. So Liquid Notes for Life was designed for the easiest possible connection to life in mind. The instruments now play through life naturally, so there is no more MIDI import, no built-in synths, and no pre-arranged templates. Uh, apart from that, it provides all the features of the standalone version. Descriptions of the standalone features of Liquid Notes can be found in the FAQs on our website, the software documentation and the tutorial videos on our YouTube channel. But now let's get started with the setup. So after installation of Liquid Notes for Life, you'll find two new devices in your Max MIDI Effect User Library folder, as you can see right here on the left side. So first you want to open Live, it's already open here, and load one of your Live sets. Uh, we also have demo music sets available for you, which you can download from our website. Um, in your set that you can see here, you start by inserting a new MIDI track. Okay, and onto this track you want to load the Allen Bridge Global Device, like this. Just drag and drop. Okay, so on each MIDI track you want to work on with Liquid Notes, you now have to load the Allen Bridge track device. So, number one, number two, three, okay, that's done. Uh, so, before we continue with any reharmonization in Liquid Notes, You'll also have to select the clips you want to manipulate by clicking on the corresponding scene. And the scene you will find right here on the right. Okay, so now this completes the live part. Uh, now open Liquid Notes for Live. Here it's already open. That's the difference between a plug-in and this MIDI effect you don't start the application from within the sequencer. So now all you have to do is to click on the Get Clips button on the start screen of Liquid Notes. This will transfer the selected clips to Liquid Notes. Uh, this can also be done from the file menu, as you can see here. Okay, um, but for now we simply click on this button and from this point on the software behaves like, a, like the standard version. We are simply shortcutting this, okay? The arrangement now shows in Liquid Notes and has been harmonically analyzed already. All the editing is now the same as in the standard version, except for a few differences. And for further information on that, we provide documentation that comes with the software or can be downloaded from our website. We also have FAQs and tutorial videos on YouTube, as mentioned before. But now for the different behavior. If you start playback in Liquid Notes, you'll only hear the tracks loaded into Liquid Notes sounded through life. If you start playback in live, you'll hear the entire set and both the cursors of Liquid Notes and live will run in sync. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, one more bit of information. 
If you want to get clips from Live's arrangement view into its session view, please refer to the setup outline in the software manual. Thanks for watching.